G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today's video is about the Savota Jacquerie Medium Backpack. So this is the Savota Jacquerie Medium Backpack. It's a 1000D Cordora and it says it's military spec material. 30 litres. Doesn't sound a lot. But trust me, it can pack well, and you've got molly webbing all the way around on the front, on the top here, and we've got four attachment points on the bottom for your webbing, and on both sides we've got the molly webbing coming down. You can see here we've got the hydration port for the hydration system to come through and if you're not using it for hydration you can always cover your radio in there with your aerial coming out of this point. The lid they call a floating lid because we can adjust it to suit so the more gear we put in this the higher it becomes the more we can lift the lid up and while we're at it, the lid, let's turn that inside out a little bit, just have a zippered pocket. Now, I've noticed a few people mention because it's so close to the top point, there's not really much space in there. But the way you get around that is you adjust the floating lid a bit, put your gear in there, so that actually takes the space up, and then that sits on top with your lid raised. So you can get some decent sized gear in there like your first aid kit, maps, e-perbs, all that sort of thing. Buckles on here. I can be, can be honest with you, I don't know what brand they are, but I do know they are very good. What have we got here? ITW Nexus. So I don't know much about them, but I know on all these Sawata gear I've used so far, They've never let me down and they're nice and strong. We've got the adjustments which comes all the way through the actual molly webbing here. That strap. So you can adjust this on this point. So just run that back through the strap and the bigger it is. You can loosen it all off here so we can put some gear through the loops at the bottom here. Let's get back up. So we can put gear through, and we've got a second one here. Let's run that back through there. On both sides, you have compression straps. And I'll show you this side, because there's one extra feature that this side's got that the other side hasn't. But we've got compression straps. We've got plenty of adjustments, that's doubled over tw uh, twice, so that's three times the length you can see there. So you can always put the stuff down the back uh, side. We've got a pocket on both sides, which really isn't big enough for carrying uh, a full pack because it's a bit tight. But it's ideal if you're going to have your axe running down, the handle of your axe in there, or your saw. Second compression strap there. But what we do have is we have a zip that runs down this side so you can get access to wherever you want in this way rather than open the lid up and going through all that palaver and nice strong zips again I don't know what brand they are but they're good large pull on it good chunky zips Coming to the harness system, they call these S straps, I believe, because they've shaped them in an S, so they fit nice around your chest and your shoulders. Now, this is one of the first packs I haven't had to have this chest strap done up tight. It just feels so comfortable with it left loose. The strap fits here, which you probably see where the persp perspiration is, so I still get full access to my pockets on my shirt when I'm wearing it. And it's just comfortable. 
when I'm walking because of the actual waist belt on it, I don't feel the, the straps or any weight on my shoulders. We've got the molly webbing coming down here so you can attach pouches, carabiners. Let's move that out of the way now. Stand that one out of the way. The back of it, there's not really much to it. We've got some uh, foam in on the inside. I can't remember it's called, but it's the, the heavy one. And the same here, so you've got nice ventilation going down. And my back is perspiring because it's 31 today so far. But that did not feel uncomfortable. I could still feel the actual uh, air coming through as I walked. Backpack, or back pad of your waist belt. It's not big, it's not massively thick, it's probably about an inch, inch and a quarter, but it fits just nice in the lower part of my back. And again, I was surprised at how comfortable it was. I could hardly even notice I was wearing this. The straps, the waist belt, we have molly webbing coming across, only one strap. Uh, you're using one, two, three, four webbing points to hold the side pouch on here. And there's a fifth one just you can see at the back. But don't guarantee you'll be able to use it because it'd be a tight fit if you do. These are the horizontal pouches which fit nice on here. I love it. What next? These shoulder straps. <laughs> they're probably looking at it and feel of it about seven or eight mils thick but again really shaped and because all the weight's being held by the waist it's just nice wide enough for the width there we're looking at about two two and a half inches so it's going to spread the load if you do end up with any load on your shoulders but nice and comfortable still and here's the adjustments here for your floating lid to lift it up and down. So there's no load lifters, it's just a straightforward basic backpack. Now one thing I'll show you before I show you the inside is we've got the molly here and we've got one, two, three, four, five and a half channels so you put your molly uh, webbing through, uh, straps through. And the reason for that is it's been kept central so when you put a pouch on there, it can either sit in the centre or just off whichever suits you, but it can sit in the centre and keep it all balanced. But we've got the zip here, which actually takes up part of this uh, column of webbing. So be aware, the, if when it's centred, the biggest one you can go for is where you've got the four channel or the four uh, space straps on your pouch. But it's not a problem for me. The actual main pack, uh, pouch of the one go on the back, they're all four, so it suits nice. The vertical pouch I showed, the six litre one, that sits on there perfect. Great for throwing your jacket in there, some light stuff so it's not even falling your back, and just make a little bit more room in your pack. On the top here, as I showed in a previous video, with the horizontal three litre pouch. I attach that to the top and in there I've got my 3x3 three three tarp, um, my ridge line, my pegs and little bits, odds and sods that I'm going to need to erect a shelter. So that sits on there nice. Well, there's nothing really else, nothing, ah, I do, will show you is the buckles. Now, I prefer these ones. Let's move the camera down a bit. So as you'll attach the buckles and instead of pulling backwards you grab the straps and pull forwards which brings the buckle, uh, the buckle in the, uh, your waist belt nice and tight and it just gives you extra leverage so it sits there and I've got nothing on the shoulder straps and again how easy is it to undo just lift the side of each buckle and it slides open Now, I've 
loaded the inside up here with all extra pouches and bits and bobs that I'll be adding with my gear in. Just so when I get home I can take it out and put it where I want it and it's all organised. And do this. Let me see we've got the first draw cord which holds the main part or door part of the pack. Now this you really have to push in so you've got some good thick cord here. So you've got to really push it all the way in to be able to slide it. So you know that's going to hold and it's going to be nice. Next one is the expanding part. So realistically once you get this in here you could probably fit seven to ten litres extra on top and have that up and lift your floating lid. This cord isn't as thick but still it's a nice stiff line lock on it. Good quality. So I'll take all the pouches out because there's one thing I've added to this that doesn't come with it when you buy it. So, there's my tarp. snug pack jungle blanket at the bottom drop that back in here hydration bladder it just goes on this strap and buckle and it all comes undone nice and easy the actual normal back of this is a plastic back and it's quite flexible but it's great if you just got a light load but if you carry a little bit extra weight in your pack, I'd recommend buying the aluminium frame for the back of the pack, and that just slides down in with the plastic one, which is about two and a half three mils thick. Leave that in there in case you've got anything in there, and it's not going to poke out into your back when you've got heavy load pulled up tight. So that will just slide back down into there, nice tight fit. We have a pocket for the hydration bladder. Now that sits nice up against the plastic back panel and in between the frame. So that actual hydration bladder is protected by the thickness of the actual aluminium frame. So let's do that back up. Bring the strap through, through the buckle, and Tug it up and that's that done. Nice and easy. Apart from the hydration pocket, it's just one compartment there. There's nothing else, no dividers. It's, that's all. Now what they do say is, it would be in a Cordura fabric, as most people know, especially the 1000, it is fairly waterproof. But they've also added like a rubber back in which makes it even more waterproof and uh, more durable but the stitching none of this has been seam sealed so over time if you're in a big downpour and leave it laying there soaking the water will regress through there but that will take a long time Uh, another pouch for two of these I'll be showing you in another video Let's drop that back in there now I said comfort wise from the get go I put it on I thought it feels different but within 5 or 10 minutes of uh, walking up here today like I said, it's 31 degrees centigrade, but this pack was comfortable from the get-go. So, not many packs you can say that about. A lot of them you've got to use for a few months, load it all out, and get them moving around, becoming flexible, and beginning to fit your back. Got the hook and loop. Put morale patches on there. I've got the Savata Smiley just to protect the loop part of the hook and loop to keep that nice and clean. 
all in all, it's not much more you could say about the pack. It's a nice pack, it's a comfortable pack. Price range, what you pay for it, it's a good pack. Not the cheapest, I'll be honest there, but it is a nice pack. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you have and you're not already a subscriber, please go down below, click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell next to it and select all, so you can be notified of all future upcoming videos. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun, and take care.